Well, first of all, I, I'm so excited to talk to you about this. I, I remember seeing Before I Fall, the, the, the film, and oh. just being so moved that a woman's voice is is being used in, in the way you're using it, especially teen women. How did panic happen and, and what, what inspired the story? Well, the story was actually inspired by, um, I mean, again, I wish I could say like a dream so much easier. Um, but actually in some ways it was inspired by, um, it was a, it's probably my most autobiographical book, which sounds weird because it's kind of the transliteration of a personal journey that I went on from like around my mid to late teens to my mid twenties um, when, you know, precipitated by this kind of false idea I had that I could break myself of all my fears. Mm. Um, and so if you kind of combined Heather and Dodge's journey into one and then extended it over many years instead of a summer, you would kind of get a journey that I had had gone on. Um, and so then I took that and then I literalized it. I mean, to a certain extent, I don't think I realized I was doing that when I wrote it. Mm. Um, you know, I mean, books come to you and you don't totally know where they come from, but almost all of my book, but, but it's very clear to me now. Um, and it was clear to me about how I felt about it. I always mm. really loved that book, um, which is not how I feel about most of my books. <laughs> um, so anyway, but thank you for saying that. Um, you know, to a certain extent, I think, I always feel that I'm writing books or I try to write books that I would have needed to have when I was younger um, or would have benefited from. So that's a, that's a really great answer, by the way. I now I think what I, I really appreciate and oftentimes the someone will write a book. You look at Twilight, you look at uh, other young, young, popular, young adult books. The creator, the writer is not really always involved this must be a joy. I mean, cause this is your vision. How did that come about to bring it to life on TV? So you have control. Yeah. I mean, uh, I think it was, I mean, it was a long period. I was actually thinking about this. It hadn't occurred to me, but I was working on some degree in different roles of an adaptation for panic. Literally, I think since 2015, um, oh, wow. first it was a feature and I was just, you know, I had just sold it. And there was a feature and then that took two years and the script uh, ended up not going anywhere. So then I wrote, my first script was actually a feature version just to keep it alive at the studio. And it really wasn't meant to be a feature, you know, and in all that time, um, because, you know, I had been out in making periodic visits. I was going to say journeys. It felt like journeys <laughs> to Hollywood to because um, I have a company, but also getting to know people and finding my people. It took mm -hmm. about, I would say, six, seven years to find about three of them. Um, but, you know, you don't need that many when they're the right ones. Um, and then one of them is this wonderful executive, Phoebe Zimmer, um, at Amazon. And they were just changing, right? They were changing. Jen Sulky was coming in. YA was now in young people reaching them in a really true way was was a big priority for them. Um even when I sold it to them, I, 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 you know, I wrote a script that was always part of it. I wrote uh, one script and then another one, but it wasn't the intention that I would write all of them. Again, these things evolved over a period of time. Um, you know, I'm sure that somebody else could also have done a wonderful job with it. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't want to even say, I think that um, it was, I loved this particular book and I love this project. And I think some of that passion about this in particular, we ended up feeling that it was possible for me to do this. I'm so grateful for the studio. I don't, I can't think of another studio that would have taken that big of a risk. I had never even had a single TV or, or film credit, wow. right? This is wow. a huge expensive show. So I will say that. And then I also will say just for it, it really is though at the same time, so collaborative. People never talk about that. It's like the most collaborative art form in the universe. Like it, it's True. like 80, 80 people we need all of them. And some of them have glue guns and you need them too, specifically, you know? So You need food, you need that. catering, you need all of that. All of them. So it really is. So, I mean, a lot of it was actually my vision, quote unquote, is actually in it, the friction, the magical alchemy of what an imagination, once it starts to hit the real world and other people are bringing to it. And then you respond to that. So it becomes almost a conversation, right? Mm -hmm. um, with, so it's really, that was so fun 
um, and so different from being a novelist. So different. I'm sure. Yeah. Now, I, I mean, obviously, it's you know, it's it hasn't premiered yet. We're we're getting there. Do you? Are you excited about the future of it? Are, are are you at the point where you're thinking, how ooh, let's we could continue this, we could go farther, we could do this? I mean, I've thought about I I have like a document of things that have happened back to 1989, literally in the town. I just did an audible shorts of ten years back in the game. I could endless. I really love this world because it also addresses things that I think can be um, under addressed on TV, specifically for teens. It shows um, parts of the world that, I mean, just literally showing people who aren't super rich is is not that common um, in teen yeah. stuff. And, and also showing them, though, not then as, it's not bleak, right? Um, it doesn't just take it and, and do a treatment where, you know, whatever. So there's a lot there that I feel passionately about. Um, I would love it. I mean, in answer to your question, I, I'm at the, I'm so nervous that I can barely <laughs> think, <laughs> you know, I just, I mean, I wish I could go to sleep and come out, like, wake up, like, two months from now. <laughs> so, but yes, if we were so lucky, then I would I would love to continue this way. I, I think it will, and I, congratulations on the show, and I, I think people Thank are really going to love it. So, good luck. Thank good, you. Congratulations. So. They will, I promise Thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't touch it. <laughs> 